When it comes to the industry, as far as how I feel about ringtone rappers, um, I think the industry is just more fast paced because society is more fast paced. We get our information so quickly, whether it's on our hip, whether it's on the internet, whether it's through television, we're being bombarded with messages and information by the second. So it's like, if I put out a mixtape, people might buzz about it for like two days. If that, they might buzz about it for like six hours because somebody else done put a mixtape out. So when you have all of these people fighting to, to, to get your attention, you know, like, it, that's, it's gonna happen to where, like, you're gonna, you're gonna see these, these short firecracker rappers. I call them firecracker rappers. Cause what happens is, the label sees that something is burning, they're like, they pick it up, they throw it. When it hits the ground, it goes boom. You know what happens when it go boom, people look. And they say, oh, you see that firecracker? And then it's over. Next thing you know, they looking for the next person to throw another firecracker. But like, what we trying to do is build nuclear bombs, stuff that's gonna like, really like, have an impact. When you're looking at bottom lines, because this is industry, you, you got suit and ties, record executives who know nothing about what's going on over here. All they know about is that it's an industry. You have people, you have record people, and then you have industry people. Whereas back in the day when you had like Ray Charles, and you had cats like that doing it. You had record industry people who developed artists and a and actually did work. Now all, all these dudes are doing is getting on MySpace and saying, this group got a million hits. What's their most popular song? Let's throw it out there. Let's put a video with it. Okay, they liked it. We made our money back. Matter of fact, we flipped the profit. Oh, uh, they don't, people don't really, ain't really checking for their album. So let's drop them and look for the next firecracker. So that's why you're seeing more innovation with artists, more artists are taking control of their own destiny as far as doing things virally, releasing things through iTunes, um, releasing mixtapes for download. It's weeding out people who don't want to work hard. Because to, to be in this game right now, like I'm on the internet seeking shows. You know what I'm saying? Me and Double O look at who's going on tour. We hit booking agents and say, yo, you should talk to our people. We think we belong on this tour. We don't wait for you to call us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how things happen. You know what I mean? We're online every day talking to fans directly. So we, we want to keep our fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will interact with a fan directly. I give fans my email address. If I feel like they really my fan, I will, I will contact them. You know, when, it, when we talk about spreading flyers, like I was saying before, it's not just about albums now. I could put out a blog entry, and that's another flyer. This interview we're doing right now, when it hits the internet, that's a flyer for a fan to say, you know what, I dig what he's saying, I dig what he stands for, I wanna check his music out. I, when he comes to my city, I'm going to his show. You know what I'm saying? This YouTube era is it, really changing things. Cats can make their own music video for less than, for less than $1,000. Put it on the internet if it has the right buzz, it can it can cause the same impact as a video that these record execs are putting millions of dollars into. So that's where the game has changed. The internet has made everything equal playing, and now these record people are trying to catch up to what the creative people are doing without them. Because right now we're making money without them, and they're trying to say, well, we want in, we want in, we have all this big. It's like, yeah, you got this big budget, but you don't even know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You got three artists that you just put $4 million into and they all got dropped. So why am I sign with you? So I can end up where they at, you know? So that's kind of where the game is going. It's very much, it's very much sink or swim. So you got to wear a whole bunch of hats right now. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like, I'm just a rapper. I'm dope. You can't do that no more. You got to be your own publicist, your own marketing director. And in some cases, your own stylist, you know what I'm saying? Everything matters and you utilize all resources that you have. And you gotta be in the streets. You got to be in the streets. Not in the streets, you know, just standing. In the, every event that happens, you gotta be there, you know.